there my name is swara and what i had made is projector geometry sounds good so what is geometry that we will understand and from our semester term book is the fourth most lesson now in the fourth geometry lesson what we have so we should learn about point about line about types of lines about a ray line segment curved line this much points we will cover in today's video we will also cover the exercise and before i tell you the information let's read it from your textbook so what is something called as point so a point is a dot like this it now this is not a dot a dot is look like this like this like this like this some dots that i have drawn on your screen that are known as dots so a point is a dot right made with a sharp pencil on a sheet of paper it shows a definite position only a definite position not indefinite okay a point has no length no breadth or no thickness even we use capital letters of english of alphabet to name points uh, like this one here you will be seeing to so many times i have made this numbers uh like uh, this uh, way in this way i have made the information here here right so what are these for what is the usage that now will be saying so in a point sorry so we name it with a or a b like that from according to your textbook it it shows a triangle like a has a point b has a point c like that the shape is made up of A line, yes. A shape is made of not a line. It's line segment, and the line, sorry, a shape is made up of a line, and that line segment is made up of points. So here, now what is a line and a line segment? So first we will understand is line. So in line, you will name it like this. So you draw. Uh, like this and uh, arrows. Why arrows? Because line is never ending. It never ends. It never ever ends. So that's why we draw the arrow to show its continuity or continuously it goes on. And we can name it like as P and write like this S P and a line on the. line on it to show it is line to refer that it is line so what are types of lines types of lines are vertical line horizontal line slanting or oblique line you know all these lines but vertical vertical is known as uh, standing standing just read that hello standing sleeping slanting this you know itself so here it's only written so these are the major types of the lines of this is that so this is a vertical line known as the straight line this is the horizontal line known as sleeping line and this is the slanting line or new word for oblique line now uh, what is a ray what is a ray so a ray starts you know a ray starts only one end point it has and then it continuously goes on like a line but only not two points ah huh? like we in line we used two points but here only one point here it started and goes on and gone and you can name it a b and then right like this uh, arrow and a 
then a b down of it okay next line segment what is the concept of line segment so you are drawing a and a b and a line on it a line has two end points but uh, it is countable it means it never is uh, has fixed end point so it has definite length it does not go never endingly so that is the major concept so this is known as line segment this is even a line segment right but even any line should have a name should have a name so then is curved line curved line this are this this is curve even as my name is curve so it has curve so it has curves so this is curve line this is curve line so shall we see the exercise let's see it so shall we see our exercise 4.1 so in our exercise 4.1 first question is match the columns so a length is like it has one end point and goes on continuously like a line it's a race let's match it next is a dot and a p so dot and a p dot dot is referred as point so point q p and a line over it mm. it's not a line it has some measured portion so it's called a line segment and this is line because it goes on and on and on this is curve here is a curve formed so it's called a curved line so we have crossed our first exercise so shall we see our next exercise portion so let's see it so what we have to do in this question is we have to name all the line segments which are being formed which are formed in this question so our a figure is a pentagon a pentagon five sided figure right now its one side is s r q p t so line segments will be what it will be like this we will write p q and a line then q then r then r it will be p q q oh, sorry sorry this is not correct p q wait q r r R S S T and last one will be see now here T it's finished but T P T P also join at a point right so here we will write T P at the end of my screen so that's it next question third a seventh let me just show you seven figure one time so this seven figure as homework do it see one time again you see the figure i will wait for a minute i hope you seen it now here you have to again name line segments here are many like a b okay i'm writing them on the screen a b b c b c c d d e e f d e e 
Yes. FG. GH. G and a, a and these are the line segments C1 homework now exercise sorry third question we'll be seeing it now itself so let's see it draw a line segment named xy so we have to draw a line segment whose name is x y so a line segment is just like this just let me take a draw a line then we will name it x y so we just have to say that this point is known as x and this point is known as y Next, draw a vertical line and name it. So, vertical means straight. So, we will draw something like this and then we will draw two arrows and another two arrows. Name it WR. Draw a ray, name it x, y and ray sign. So, we will draw a ray. Name it x and y. So, this is a ray and we will name it. This is x point. This is y point. Okay, and not the homework I told you is about the line segments and the exercise 4.2 because it's just on measurements, you can do it. So, okay, then bye bye.